So we are going to begin the practice, Monday practice for upper body flow and welcome you all. Making sure that you have some tissues for pranayama and some water to drink, a yoga block, chair, your mat. When you're ready, we'll begin by finding a comfortable position to sit. We are beginning seated for pranayama. Today's class will focus on rasa tattoo, which is the plasma, the juiciness of the body. Hara rasa, the juice of digestion that flows through the body, the rasa of digestion, rasa, plasma, part of the blood tissue. In Ayurveda, it's a separate tissue and it's the first tissue being formed in the body post-digestion. It flows directly into the body from digestion to the heart, from the heart, the yana energy is moving rasa all over the body. It has all five elements and it has three major gunas. And it's the juice of digestion. So we'll begin with pranayama for rasa, always beginning with anuloma viloma, finding your breath harmonizing, unifying the breath. So let's take a moment together to just pause, close your eyes, bring your hands into Gyana Mudra, the famous yoga mudra, thumb and index finger gently pressing in, extending the rest of your fingers. Coming into meditative state to gather all that energy. Visualize or see the space around you and see the radiance of the space. Breathing in prana energy, life force energy, breathing in the space. Breathing in the radiance of the space into the heart. Focus, rasa, heart, abdominal. We will target the area of cervical, cervical lymph nodes, axillary lymph nodes, and inguinal lymph nodes to allow that lymph fluid to flow with ease through the body. Lymph fluid is part of rasa. The qualities of rasa, clear liquid, sticky, slimy, plasma. Thinking of a clear sticky substance that's in, intra and extra cellular fluid, uh, cerebrospinal fluid, plasma, the juices of the body. Finding your breath, breathing into the heart. The radiance of space permeates the body in all directions simultaneously. Space is always here, breath is always here, all that prana energy is always here. And just notice how we can tap into that breath, bringing awareness to the breath, being more present, being more present in the body, taking the impression of the entire being seated in this space. And from here, we'll begin with Anuloma Valoma, alternate nostril breath. 
Whenever you're ready, always beginning and ending on the left for each round, we'll do two sets of 10 rounds, Anuloma Voloma, in your own pace. Whenever you're ready. Deep inhalation, soothing inhalation through the left, pausing, switching, exhaling through the right, pausing, inhaling through the right, pausing, exhaling through the left. Ten and Loma Venoma. And as you finish, take a deep breath in, feeling the space, feeling the lightness in your heart, in your chest, feeling nurtured by your breath. Notice any sensation, any tenderness through the throat, through the heart, through the lungs, chest, and breathe softly into that area, expanding, creating more space. So we always say that healing needs time, and we need time for healing, and Ayurveda teaches that time occupies space and it is the space that we need to create healing. Notice the sound of your breath as you breathe in and out naturally. The body feeds on sound, sonic waves, permeates the water element within the body and allows that wave of sound to spread through the body, nourishing every single nerve tissue, bone tissue. The vibration of the breath strengthens the bone as we sit in meditation, breathing and bringing the awareness to the sound of the breath, allowing it to permeate through the body, mind, awareness, all the senses on the breath. Second set, Anuloma Valoma, 10 rounds. Notice the sound, notice the depth, notice the space being created in your heart, in your chest. Notice the lightness, breathe in the intention, breathe in the gratitude, breathe in the joy, breathe in the harmony that comes with prana. Without thinking about it, just bring the mantra of joy to your inhale whenever you're ready.
deep, expansive breath, increasing capacity of the lung, stretching the lung tissue. Relax your jaw, soften your face. Finishing up and pausing, just being. Always on Uloma Veloma. To center the breath, to unify the breath, to harmonize the breath, to slow down the breath, to deepen inhalation, to Deepen the exhalation, just being, notice. Notice your breath as it naturally flows. As we pause without controlling, just being, breathing. Notice the chest, notice the lung tissue, muscles, intercostal muscles in between your ribs. Bring awareness to the solar plexus, the area between the navel, the xiphoid process. Enjoy. Bastrika. Coming to Bastrika, we'll do two sets with arms up. Inhaling, stretching the arms, exhaling, elbows in, gently focusing on the lungs and chest, allowing the body mechanics to flow, not worrying about rounding the spine, just focusing on fully expanding the lungs, chest, and then fully exhaling to empty, empty completely and pausing in between. The pause is important. As we reset, we oxygenate the body, 
we biohack the nervous tissue, we biohack the lung tissue, we strengthen immune system, we strengthen the heart. So we'll do two sets of 10, Bastrika, bellows breath, focusing on expanding and contracting chest, lungs. Whenever you're ready, begin. Last breath. Fill in, full pause. Sip it in, sip it in through the mouth to full, to fill in, expand through the lungs, lift the navel, big Buddha belly, lengthen the spine, exhale, relax. Enjoy the lightness. See the need for pausing, for allowing this energy to dissipate in the tenderness of infinite space, just being without thinking about it, without forming any mental images, just rest. Rest in the vast expanse of this space and energy that is expanding with each breath. Bring your mind down to your heart, the inner vision to your heart. Just meditating on the heart. Bringing more heat to the body, Bastrika heating, Pranayama clearing, cleansing. One of the qualities of Rasa is um, to put it so there's like three major gunas sattva rajas and tamas tamas being inertia darkness stagnation so bastrika helps to release almost like liquefy the rasa when it's stagnant when it's thick it's like a slow sticky cold jelly so Bastrika brings more heat, liquefies rasa, allows rasa to flow freely from the heart. One more set, Bastrika, 10 rounds. One last inhale into the heart, lengthen the spine, into the belly, sit it in. Expand heart and solar plexus simultaneously. Big Buddha belly, expansive chest and heart. When you're ready, exhale. A 
Allow the breath to flow. Notice the depth. It's quite amazing how if we notice without comparing, without judging, but we do compare from the beginning as we sit before beginning pranayama, noticing the breath, noticing its length, and in the pauses in between pranayama, noticing the breath, noticing the length of the inhalation, noticing the length of the exhalation, noticing the pause, how much we expand the life span through slowing down the breath. how this breath has effect on every single tissue, every single organ in the body, especially heart, the physical heart. Kapalabhati. We'll do 50 two sets of 50 Kapalabhati, but really focusing on the technique. So it is that expansion and contracting from the belly through the belly, strong action of pumping the belly, focus on navel and below the navel muscles, scooping sort of action to massage the internal organs, to wake up the tissues to release any accumulated mucus. And after Kapalabhati will follow with Agni Sara to go even deeper. So Kapalabhati, deep breath into the belly. When you knew, bring your left hand over the belly just to bring more awareness to the muscles, to the skin. Begin pumping, exhaling from the belly, allowing this Breath to flow passively through the nose. When you finish deep breath into the belly, fully expand, inflate the big balloon in the belly and pause, hold, feeling full in the belly and exhale when you're ready. Close your eyes and sit. Breathing deep into the solar plexus. When you're ready, second set, Kapalabhati 50, five zero. And to the belly, strong action, strong body. Relax your jaw, relax your teeth.
Deep breath in when you finish. Lengthen the spine, stretch. Lift your heart. Stretch through the navel. If you feel tenderness, nausea through the upper belly, just massage it, exhale, relax. Deep breath into the solar plexus. So we're focusing on that area to expand. Excess ama will cause, will kind of um, activate, not cause, but will, this pumping will stimulate this nausea, like might feel nauseous and it's pretty normal. Even feeling nauseous after eating um, greasy food, having fat that indicates high ama in the stomach. Agni Sara, sit at tall. I like to sit, sit on my heels. You can sit on the edge of your chairs, sit it on the bolster. And lengthen the spine, take a deep breath in. Exhale, completely draw the navel in and up. And for Agnisara, on no breath, holding on empty breath retention, we massage. You expand fully, navel out, big Buddha belly, and then contract, draw the navel in, and just massage it in the belly on empty, no breath. When you're ready, inhale deep and pause. So we'll do three rounds. When you're ready, begin. Deep breath in, exhale out, all the air out. Draw the navel in and up, and massage. Relax and contract, relax and contract. Inhale when the inhalation rises and exhale to pause. Just pausing for a moment. And from here, second set, Agni Sara. Deep breath in, big Buddha belly, exhale out, draw the navel in and up, lengthen the spine, and from here, massage the belly. Inhale and up, exhale, relax. Listen to your breath, meditate on your heart, meditate on the solar plexus, seat of the soul, Nabi, navel, the fire element within the belly, balancing the fire element. That in Sanskrit is called Agni, Agni. Digestion. We need fire element for digestion. Again, Adam Sarah, one more.
beautiful. We'll finish up with Ujjayi breath, victory breath for thyroid, for throat. Keeping the throat healthy, keeping the thyroid healthy. So there's that high pitch sound resonating, conch shell sound of... On the inhalation, we're inhaling, constricting the throat, resonating the sound, and then exhaling. That's for level one. Level two, inhaling, bring your right arm all the way up. At the end, exhale through the left nostril, bringing your right hand right to close the right nostril using your thumb. Like this, so it looks like this. <clears throat> we'll do seven rounds of Ujjayi. Breathing to the top of your lungs. And slowly begin to <clears throat> articulate and round your spine, doing cat and cow seated. You're gonna open your fingers, stretch your fingers, close, open, make fists with your hands, and begin to tilt your pelvis forward and back as you inhale, lengthening the spine, exhaling, cooling in. Just bringing some energy to the body, lubricating the spine, lubricating the hips. Lengthen through the spine as you inhale, stretch through the navel. Exhaling, cooling in, rounding the spine, chin to chest, stretch through your shoulders, through your arms. From here, coming back to sit, extend through your legs, stretch your legs. Shake it up. If you're wearing socks, take your socks off. We are coming slowly to stand up. As we come to stand up, we're coming to shift the weight side to side. So standing wide, spread your toes, shifting the weight. So you can always use the chair for balance, coming behind the chair, holding onto the chair as you shift the weight and begin to 
Bend your knees, draw your heels in towards the back. Just warming up the lower body. And now coming to wide stand, bring your feet apart and shift the weight side to side, bending your knees, coming side to side. You're going to move the arms, coming into opening from the heart. And then as you exhale, bring your hands, stretching your hands down, all the way down. Coming into a very gentle squat, crossing your hands, inhale, and open from the heart. And then exhale, stretch as much tissue as you can, stretch your fingers, bring some movement to your breast. Opening through the heart, bringing that energy to the heart. As it all circulates from the heart, rasa. Thinking of the body fluid circulating from the fingertips all the way through the body. Breathing deep. And from here, one more. And as you exhale, bend your knees slightly and come to a gentle malasana. From here, we have the pelvic floor. Sit bones. And we're going to inhale the arms up. Root down through your big toes. And then exhale your hands down to your waist. Bring your hands to your waist. Anchor through the left hand and inhale the right arm up. Deep breath in, exhale the right arm, anchor, bring your right hand to your waist and inhale through the left side, stretching. Exhaling down, a little bit lower, feeling the activation through the lower body and inhale the right arm up. And exhale down and switch, inhaling the left arm up. Exhale down, inhale right arm, last one. And left arm. Coming in to stand as you inhale, extend through the legs, toe heel in. You can come to sit on the chair or coming into Utkatasana, feet together, root down through your toes. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up and exhale, sit back into Utkatasana. Bring your hands to cactus pose. Check in, make sure you can see your toes, look down through your toes. From here, we're going to exhale, draw forearm to forearm and inhale, open the heart. So if this is too much, coming to the chair, seated on the chair, inhaling, opening, focus on the heart, exhale, keep your spine in alignment, shoulders, hips, ears, deep, expansive breath into the heart, Stretch through the armpits, activating through the axillary lymph nodes, compressing and opening, pumping through the armpits. Deep breath, expansive breath. One more, exhaling out and inhaling, coming to stand tall if you're seated or if you're in Utkatasana and exhale, release your arm. Now you are coming to sit on the chair. You 
coming to stretch through the neck, cervical lymph nodes focusing on the cervical spine. So bring your hands down to your thighs, so roll your shoulders back, find the length through the spine. And as you take a deep breath in, grow tall, crown to the sky, heart to the crown, navel in and out, finding that alignment. Connect to your breath, finding that length. On your exhale, draw your chin to your chest. And we are softly outlining the jaw line, drawing circles with the chin, keeping the shoulders in place, keeping the upper body, lower body isolated. So just big circles, drawing circles with your chin, outlining the jaw. One direction. One more. Coming back to center from here, either stay on the chair or coming to stand. Coming back into Utkatasana, feet together, legs together, pressing in. Look down through your toes. When you're ready, inhale your arms up. Stretch through the entire body, breathe into the entire being. And exhale, sit back. Coming Utkatasana, feeling the toe bones, pressing down, legs, pelvic floor lifted. Open your arms wide when you're ready. Exhale, pressing your forearms together. Inhale, open up. Focus heart, armpits. Nice and expansive movement. Feeling those shoulder blades pressing as you pump through the armpits. And three more, nice and slow. One last. Open up, inhale, come to center. And exhale, release your hands. Open up as you come to stand, mountain pose. Check in, feet. Legs gently hugging in, feeling taller, breathing into the heart. Gently lifting the crown, ears away from the shoulders, keeping the legs through the cervical spine. And from here, we're coming to sit on the chair to rotate circles the opposite direction, hands planted on your legs. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, chin to chest in the reverse, opposite direction. Coming to draw circles with your chin. Your shoulders relaxed, face relaxed, jaw relaxed. Connecting the movement with the breath. Inhaling halfway, coming to the top, exhaling down. One more. Coming back to center and pause. Beautiful. Coming back into Utkatasana. If you wish to stay on the chair, stay on the chair. Last set. Feet together, ankles pressing in. Inhale, bring your arms over the head, stretch through the entire being. And from here, exhaling, sitting back. 
Sitting back, check in, Utkadasana, maybe go a little bit deeper. If you feel lightness through your toes, shift the weight forward. And from here, exhale into cactus, scoop to the bone to knee, we'll open the heart. When you're ready, exhale, pressing your forearms in. Inhale, open the heart, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale and inhale to open. Always listen to your body. Whenever you need to come to stand, you can still stand. Press the legs together, lift the pelvic floor. Two more. One last. And as you exhale, release mountain pose. Just pause, palms facing forward. Being tall. Breathing into the entire being. From here, coming to bring your chair to the top of the mat. We're coming into standing poses. We are going to begin with table. So finding safe position. Make sure the chair is on the mat. All four legs are on the mat. Come to stand in front of your chair, somewhere in the center of your mat. Feet hip distance apart. And when you're ready, inhale your arms up, all the way up. Bring your hands together, lengthen through the spine. Interlace your fingers, index fingers out. And when you're ready, shift the weight forward, lift your heels, come to tippy toes. And exhale, lower your heels, lower your arms. And again, inhale, arms come up, heels come up. Exhale, lower down, stretch, open your heart, stretch your arms, one more. As we exhale, lower your hands, lower your heels, bring your hands behind you, place your hands down on your sacrum, inhale and lengthen the spine, exhale, gentle back bend. Scoop your big bone to navel, activate through the core, release through the lower back. Inhale, back to center, exhale, release your hands. And again, inhale, arms come up, heels come up. Exhale down. And again, inhale, arms, heels. And the last one, bring your hands to the back. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands to the back. Inhale, length the spine. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release your hands. One more. Inhale, arms come up, heels come up. Exhale, lower down for three. Inhale, now. Stretch, lengthen through the entire body. Now, hands come to the back. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release your arms. Now, inhale your arms up, hands together. Exhale to the heart, come to forward fold. Activate through the legs, pelvic floor. Find a chair. Walk away from the chair. Align your pelvis with your feet. Exhale, lower your heart, Anahata. Coming in, Anahata. Align your ears with your shoulders. Using the chair for support, press down through your hands. Look down with your fingers, fingertips. Lift your armpits, stretch through the armpits. Breathe in and out from the heart to the heart. Deep breathe into your tail, lengthen your tail. 
And deep breath into the knee, open through the belly. On your next inhalation, look forward, gaze forward, lift your head, shifting the weight forward, step the right leg forward, left leg back, warrior two, finding your alignment, knee, ankle, use the momentum, inhale, left arm up, all the way up, stretching up, and then exhale, lower your pelvis, toe, heel, your foot, From here, warrior two, gazing forward, align the shoulders. We're going to gently pump the arms. So drawing circles, small circles, lift the pelvic floor, the scissoring action of the legs, hugging the sit bones, using the core, reverse the circles, and reverse the circles. And last, reverse the circles. From here, coming to exhale, the arms down, cross, and inhale all the way up. Bring your hands up over the head. Spread your fingers. Exhale, lower your arms. And inhale, rise all the way up, stretching as much tissue as you can. Exhaling, coming into reverse warrior. Bend your left elbow, placing your forearm on the waist. Turn the right hand towards you. Deep breath in and then exhaling, C-shaping the spine, side flexion. Gently pulsing with your breath. Draw your right shoulder slightly back, open the heart. Beautiful, inhaling, coming back to center. Exhale, release your arms and toe heel your feet into Malasana. Coming into Malasana, just counter backing, finding your alignment. Gentle Malasana, inhale your arms up. Exhale, your hands to the heart and pause. Inhale deep into the heart, exhale, lower your pelvis down. Do down through your toes, draw the knees towards the baby toe. And from here, inhale and rising. And exhale, toe, heel, your feet in. Beautiful. Coming to sit on the chair for Garudasana arms. Draw the right knee up, cross your legs, hug your legs together. Inhale, open your arms to the side. Exhale, cross left arm on top of the right arm. Elbow creases facing up. Bend your elbows and then exhale, hug through your armpits. Draw your elbows down. Interlacing your hands or gently pressing your hands together. From here, we take a deep breath into the heart, into the chest. Focusing on auxiliary length notes, hugging your legs together, contract through the hip creases, focusing on inguinal length notes. As you exhale, draw the chin to the chest. And from here, inhaling, opening up. Chin lift up, leading with your elbows. Keeping the length through the spine, keeping the length through the shoulders. Exhaling, draw the elbows in towards the knee or belly button. And again, inhaling up. All the way up, gazing up, and exhale, draw the elbows in. Let's do one more breath here. Targeting all the cervical, axillary, inguinal lymph nodes, lymphatic system. 
And exhale, lower down, release your arms, shake it off, shake your feet, tap your feet. Bring that vibration into the body. Swing your arms all the way up. Slow it down. Bring your arms all the way up. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms up, stretch. Hug core pelvic floor. Lengthen, lifting your shoulders away from your hips. Lengthen through, through the sides of your body. And as you exhale, coming into gentle back bend. Inhaling back to center and exhale, stretch as much tissue as you can. Open your arms, bring your palms down to your lower back, bend your elbows. Gently press your hands into your lower back. Take a deep breath into your heart. Exhale, draw your elbows in towards one another, hugging your heart from behind. Pause here for a moment. Activate through your core, activate through the pelvic floor. And then when you're ready, take a deep inhale in. Coming back to center and exhale, forward fold. Coming into connecting belly to thighs. Gently massage your legs down, bring your hands down. And you can wrap your hands over your ankles, maybe tend that finger down on the floor. If this is too much, bring your hands down to your thighs, pressing the hands down. Focus on contracting through the hip creases. So we're abstracting the flow through the hip creases, building strong rasa, that to plasma tissue. Deep breath into your belly, big Buddha belly, feeling that connection, belly to thighs, focusing on the hip creases, hugging, contracting, and relaxing through the hip creases, keeping the length through the spine, Breathing deep into the lumbar spine, thoracic spine. Keeping your ears, your shoulders in alignment. Next inhalation, rising to sit and pause. Exhale, relax. Soften through your spine. Soften to your hip creases. And when you're ready, inhale, use the momentum. Um, arms come forward to rise. So when you're ready, inhale, lift up, rise up. Bring your arms over the head. And from here, exhale, releasing your hands. Coming to face the chair, coming to stand in front of the chair, feet hip distance apart. And again, we'll do the namaskar with inhaling arms up, heels up, coming to stretch through the sides of the body. And then as we exhale, stretch your arms, lower your arms, lower your heels. And again, inhaling, align all that jnana energy to circulate from the heart. Breathe deep into the heart and exhale down. One more, inhale up, exhale your hands to the back. So lowering down, hands to the back, hands to the waist, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, gently pressing your hips forward. Now we're stretching through the inguinal left nodes, hip creases, opening up, heart lifts, heart opens, gazing up, opening up, pelvis forward, and inhaling back to center. Exhale, hands down, palms facing forward. Inhale, arms come up, hands together, heels come up. 
Exhaling, lower down, hands to heart, heels come down. Inhaling, lifting the spine, lengthening, exhale, forward fold. So there's always working with the breath, finding your chair. And from here, we're going to actually hold the plank on the chair. So look down through your hands, walk your feet away. Standing tall on tippy toes, lower your pelvis, find your danda straight line. Shoulders over the wrists or a little bit further towards you. We're not leaning over, shoulders over the wrist. So you're coming back off a little bit, backing off, coming in strong arms. You can gently roll on your tippy toes, strong legs, strong pelvis. Pelvic floor core is active, lengthen the spine. And from here, step the left leg forward, pivot down, coming into warrior two on the left side. Inhale, using the momentum, using the breath to move the body and finding warrior two. Find your warrior aligned. Make sure you feel comfortable in this position. And from here, we're going to begin to draw circles, pumping the arms. We reverse four times, more or less 10 circles and reverse. And reverse, small circles. Keep lengthening, opening from the heart. Stretching from the heart and circle and circle. Small circles, pumping one more. Coming back to center, exhale, reverse the warrior. Now bending the right elbow, bring your forearm to the hip, extend to the left side, palms facing down, deep breath in, stretching through the armpit, stretching through the side, lengthen through the cervical spine, and then inhale, coming back to center, Exhale, lower your arms, and from here, pivot, toe heel in, and come into Malasana. Going into Malasana squat, finding your alignment, inhale your arms up, open the heart, and then exhale, lower your arms, stay in Malasana, just moving your arms, opening the heart, opening, Nice and expansive movement. So we can get a little bit deeper here. Hugging those legs into the center, scissoring action, strong lower body. One more. From here, inhale, come to rise. And toe heel in. Coming to sit on the chair for Dadadasana. Now left leg crosses over, hugging your legs together. Inhale your arms halfway. Exhale forward, crossing the right arm on top of the left arm. Elbow creases up, bending and hugging, compressing now, targeting again. Cervical lymph nodes, keeping the leg through the spine, draw your chin to the chest, hugging in. Hugging in through the armpits, axillary lymph nodes. And hip creases. See if you can breathe in and out through the hip creases. So we inhale, we connect, we contract. Hugging through the thigh muscles. Hip creases and exhaling, relaxing, gently pulsing with breath, gently massaging. 
From here, bring the awareness to your elbows, leading with your elbows, inhaling, draw your elbows up, chin, lift, lengthening through the cervical spine, keeping all that length, exhale, draw your elbows into the navel, curling, rounding the spine, find the length through the spine, all the way from the sacrum, sit bones, lengthen through the lumbar spine, thoracic spine, cervical spine. And exhale, coil in. One more. Not your pace. Nice and slow. Exhaling, coming back to center. Slowly release your arms. And as you release your legs, Extend your arms behind you, feet together. So again, walking with feet together. Pasifanivata, yeah, Apana. Hands behind you, interlace your hands behind you. When you're ready, lengthen the spine. Exhaling, coming into forward fold. Lift your hands away from your back. Draw your chin to your chest. Deep breath in. Stretch arms, armpits, chin to chest. One more breath. Next inhale, rise up, lift your head first, chin, gaze forward, look forward, and then from here, inhale and rise in. Exhale, release, bring your hands together, interlace your fingers, shake it off. Roll your wrist nice and slow. Coming to stretch the hands, stretch the fingers. Beautiful. From here, shake it up. Come to stand. Are we coming to stand in front of the chair? Feet together. Now we're coming into Namaskar, inhaling the arms up, hands together. Inhale your heels up. Press your heels together, Root down through your toes, pause. Tamasana palm tree. Stay tall. On your next exhalation, lower hands to heart, heels come down, coming to fold forward. Exhaling forward. Inhaling, find your chair, finding the length through the spine, shift the weight forward. We're coming to push up on the chair. This is too much. Come to find a wall. You can do push ups on the wall, making sure your wrists are safe. Finding the space through the wrists when you're ready. 12 push ups. Exhaling down, inhaling, pressing up. Exhaling down, inhaling, pressing up. Breathe. Four, five, strong arms pressing up, four more, three more, two more. One last. Shift the way back and come to Anahata, standing Anahata. There's variation, but using the chair, come to stretch your arm, stretch your arm, as exhale, self, lower your heart down.
Come here, inhale, look forward. Step the right leg forward, left leg back. Coming into high lunge. Wiggle, back leg back. Inhale, your arms up. Come into cactus to open the heart, gentle back bend, open through the left hip. From here, extend your arms. Exhale, bring your hands in front and find your Badagasana arms here. Staying in high lunge. Gently inhale, see if you can gaze up. Maybe even lift your elbows slightly up to open up. Pressing forward, left hip opening, exhale, gentle back bend. Lower the right hip down. And inhale back to center, exhale, release your arms and find your chair. Bring your hands to your chair. Extend through the front knee, use the momentum, hop the back leg in and come to stand. Come into a standing table. As you come into standing table, cat and cow for a three to reset the spine. Inhale, gaze forward, drop the belly, navel down. Exhale, gently coil in, check the chest, navel draws in towards the spine. Inhale, lengthen, stretch through the back of your legs. And exhale, coil in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, coil in. And from here, 12 push ups. So coming back to center. When you're ready, exhale, bend your elbows any amount. Be safe. Inhaling, rising. You can change the position of your hands. Exhaling down. Inhale, press up. The further your feet away from the chair, the harder it is. So if you want a slight break, come to table, do your push ups from table. Finding the alignment. to center, step your left leg forward, right leg back, come to high lunge. Back heel is lifted, front knees bent 90 degree, inhale your arms up. You can stay in cactus, opening the heart, gentle back bend, or exhale, coming into Gandhasana arms. Now the left leg is forward, the right arm is on top. And from here, inhale, open up, ease up, maybe lift your elbows, lower to the left hip, stretch through the right, and exhale. moving Vyana, stretching the heart in all directions. One more breath. Inhale, open up, release. Find the chair, press back, use the momentum, shift the weight forward and back, hop forward. Table, standing table, cat and cow, four, three. Beautiful center, 12 push ups. Strong arms, half skin to muscle, muscle to bone, doesn't matter how low you go. Be comfortable, hug those armpits, activate through the armpits. Beautiful. One more. And from here, shifting the weight forward and back as you come back to center. Exhale, sit back, Utkatasana. Inhale, your arms up. 
Beautiful. All the way up. Bring your hands together. Interlace. Exhale. Hands to the heart. Inhale. Come to stand. And exhale. Your hands behind you. Interlace your hands behind you. Inhale. Grow tall. Draw your hands down to the ground. Sink them down over the heart. Easing up. Breathing into the heart. And then inhale, coming to center. Exhale, release your hands. Coming to stand behind the chair. Go for a deep Anahata stretch. I'm using the back rest to stretch. Bring your hands, placing them right on your chair. Walk away. And align your pelvis with your feet, feet hip distance apart. When you're ready, exhale, deep stretch. Align your ears with your shoulders, stretch through the armpits, find the legs through the spine, lengthen the tail. And as you exhale, soften the heart. One more breath here. And as you inhale, bend your knees, look forward, gazing forward. Slowly walk up. Coming two feet together, standing tall. Going to inhale and lift your arms up, all the way up, hands together. Interlacing your hands together, reach up. And exhale to the right side, deep breath. Hold the way down to the right side. And inhale all the way back. And exhale to the left. You shaking your spine to the left. Inhaling all the way back up and exhale, release your arms. Slowly step your feet apart and come into a spinal twist. So very gently to release any tension from the spine, from the body, if there is any tension through the spine, through the body. Very gently rotating from the navel. Allowing the arms to flow. Allowing the arms to bounce off through your body. And coming back to center. You can use the chair for balance. We are coming to forward fold. So have your chair at the end of the mat in case if you need to be supported. Feet together. Inhale your arms all the way up. Hands together. Interlace your fingers as you exhale. Come into forward fold. Folding from the hip. Bend your knees and connect belly to thighs. First, lengthen the spine. And when you're ready, exhale all the way down. So any heart conditions, any unmedicated blood pressure pro problems, keep your head over the heart, or else going down deep, gazing at your knees, extend to the back of your legs, using the chair for balance, hands forearms, coming in to stretch through the lower back, extending, deep breath in and out.
Releasing any tension from the lumbar spine. Coming to exhale, sit back and then belly to thighs. Deep breath into the belly. Next inhalation, gazing forward, look forward. And from here, slowly exhale down and come to sit in the middle of the mat. Agni pose, core pose, Malakasana, hands beside your body, lengthen through the spine, and then exhale, leaning back, lift your legs up. If you have a chair handy, you may use the chair for balance, maybe even extend your arms wherever you are, focusing on the core, steady breath, soft breath. Next exhalation, lower your legs, bring your feet together, coming into Pada Konasana, Cobbler's Pose. Bring your hands to your ankles or your shins, take a deep inhale in. Look down through your sit bones, lift your pelvic floor, lengthen your spine. And when you're ready, gently fold forward, folding from the hips. Exhale down to your spine. Deep breath into the heart, deep breath into the navel, simultaneously expanding, lengthening. And from here, inhale and rising. We're going to extend through the left leg, draw the right knee in, cross over, coming into a seated twist. Deep breath in, lengthening the spine. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale, draw the navel and twist from the belly. And from here, bring your hands to your heart space and pause. Each exhalation, twist a little bit deeper. Inhaling, lengthening, keeping the space, keeping the length through the spine. Crown to the sky, heart to the crown, navel in and up. One more breath. And from here, inhale and come back to center, keeping all that length. Draw your knees in and find a sweet spot balancing. Sit bone, tailbone. And from here, inhale your legs to table, arms. Lengthen the spine, grow tall through the spine, crown to the sky. Relax through your neck. Your jaw, your face, roll your shoulders back, extend through the arms. One more breath. And exhale, Padakanasana, feet together, opening your knees wide to the side, hands to the ankles. Inhale, lengthen the spine, roll forward, roll down through the sit bones. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, down the spine, chin to chest. And then a little bit deeper. Breathing into the sacrum, breathing into the lumbar spine. Maybe you can find a little bit of flow here and move your heart side to side. Micro movement, being very gentle. Doing a little twist. With your shoulders and gazing side to side. Just allowing your body to move, allowing that water element to move. Coming to center, inhale slowly rising. Use your hands, close your knees, extend through the right leg. Draw the left knee up, cross over, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, twist. Hands to heart.
One more breath. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, come back to center. Release your legs. Coming into forward fold, legs together, bend your knees, draw your toes in towards your knees to protect your knee joints. Take a deep breath in, sit tall on your sit bones, exhale, fold forward from the head, connect belly to thighs, lengthen the spine, and exhale, just melting over the legs, coming into forward fold. Keeping the connection, belly to thighs, extend your legs, flex and point through your ankles and your toes. From here, inhaling, rising, exhale, come to lie down on your back. Draw your knees to your chest, hug your knees. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your head, and then wrap your arms over your legs without crossing, coming into one release pose, moving that beyond that energy from the heart. So we lift the heart, lift the head, Take a deep breath into the entire being, your heart, your solar plexus. And as you exhale, empty completely, shrink, make yourself small. Hug even more. And as you hug, fill in that container, fill the container with prana as you inhale. Exhale, empty, hug even more, make yourself smaller, and then breathe in. One more breath. Exhale, make yourself small. Breathe into that small container. And when you're ready, exhale, come to Shavasana. Open your arms, palms facing up. Extend through your legs. Allow your legs to naturally externally rotate. Breathe into your heart. Breathe into your neck. Soften through your neck. Breathe into your armpits. And as you exhale, soften through your shoulders, through your armpits. Breathe into your hips, hip creases. And as you exhale, soften and relax to your pelvis, hip creases. Okay, breathing into the heart and feeling the expansion of your heart. Expanding all that prana energy from the heart through the rest of the body, beyond the boundaries of the skin. As you breathe in and out, feel the radiance of your heart. Gently begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes, finding gentle movement through your wrists, through your ankles. And when you're ready, draw your knees into your chest, hug. Exhale to the right side of your body. And then take a moment to pause, to breathe, to be. And when you're ready, slowly rising to sit in a comfortable position. And meditating on the heart, coming back to the heart, bringing hands to the heart. 
Tapping into the gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this morning, for the sunshine, for this breath, for this practice, for this community. Thank you for that. I can say thank you for I can be here with you. Anything else that comes up, filling the heart with gratitude, with the radiance, with joy and harmony, knowing that all is well, all is the way it should be. I wanted to thank you for joining, for sharing a beautiful energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sending lots of love and light your way. Have an amazing day. Enjoy whatever you do. Namaste. Thank you.